Good morning and welcome back to our Portuguese homestead. As you saw in last week's video, we recently planted our summer garden. But as you might also know, we recently moved to the other side of our property. So where in previous years I would just walk down every evening to water the garden. That's now a 10 minute walk up a steep hill. So I don't really want to do that anymore. So lucky for me, the sponsor of today's video felt that coming and I was contacted by the solar water pump company Lorenz. They've been making solar water pumps for 30 years and they recently started making smaller pumps for the kind of off-grid setups that we have here. Apparently it's very easy to set up. So we'll take you along on that process and hopefully we'll have water in an hour. <laughs> Really nice thick cable. That's the good stuff. How long is it? Uh, I don't know. Fifteen meters. <laughs> Fifteen meters. Heavy, really. The materials feel very solid sometimes with these smaller pumps. They're like really thin plastic, but all this feels really thick. Feels really solid. This should last for a long time. Okay, so one thing I'm already very much appreciating about this kit is that you get literally everything you need from the small things that you wouldn't even remember to buy. They already put it in there for you. So this is the connector for a bit of pipe if you need it to the, uh, the pipe that we're using, just regular garden hose to our tank. And they even put like the fancy Jubilee clips with it so that I can tighten it to the pump. So it's very well thought out. Over the slang, bro. Yeah. So So you get a really handy dandy booklet with it where every small step there's a good picture of how all the different parts fit together and then all the different steps that you need to take even small ones like putting on a jubilee clip is in there and then they even made little videos if you scan the qr code where someone shows you how to do that particular step so they've really made the whole thing super easy if you don't know how to install any of this uh, even with videos to show you so we now have to do the dry run protection so that the pump well explains itself so that the pump doesn't run when there's no water to pump um well guess that that box and then that paper yeah. oh that is this thing okay i thought that that bigger was um zip ties yeah i think that's one extra that we have done i see there are two uh, okay. 
Ga maar mee. Je. Kijk, ze hebben zelfs dit zo gedaan. Ik kan helemaal mee. Doe ik hem nou goed? Ja. Hier. En dan hier. En dan op de slang. See, even the professionals just just <laughs> zip ties for everything. <laughs> All right. I think that's good. Mm -hmm. This is just some garden hose that we already had. That's now going all the way to our irrigation tanks up on the hill. So I think that's really good because that's really accessible for a lot of people. Not everyone can go to a shop where they have meters upon meters of different types of irrigation. So Don't do forget to put the cap on. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's a tight fit. Nice. Yeah. They're 15! We did have to play with the 15. Ja? Zoveel stappen, joh. Denk je dat deze nu goed zit? Uh, ja, als je het niet meer verder kan aanrijden, dan zit het goed. Ja. ja. Oké. Okay. We are putting the pump into our well, but it's important to know that you can place this pump in a lot of different water sources. Because the type of pump they have designed for this kit does not need to be completely vertical like some other submersible pumps. This means that we can also use it to pump out of our pond or even a river if we ever need it to. Combined with the fact that the pump is quick and easy to install and easy to move, we really can pump water anywhere now. Of zit hij nou daar op een steen? Ja. Dat hoeft niet helemaal tot de bodem, maar. Nee, maar. For the last few months, in trying to decide where to garden this year and how to supply the water, we also started thinking about a designated solar water pump setup. With our main solar system now at the top of our hill, we don't have easy power here to run our big pump. But if I have learned anything over the last few years is that having a reliable water supply is essential in growing a garden here in the hot summer of central Portugal. Looking at other solar pump systems, it was hard to decide what would be the best option for us. And kits often still don't come with all the parts you need. So I was excited to hear from Lorenz, a company that has solely focused on solar pump for the last 30 years. All parts of the manufacturing are in-house, from the design in Ger Germany to the factory in China. With all that experience, they've been able to put together this kit, which makes installing a solar water pump much more accessible to the average person. This kit with the pump, the solar and the accessories goes for around a thousand euros, depending on the accessories that you need for your particular situation, which I think is a really good price point for the quality of the materials. Through the link in my description box, you can find sellers near you that can help you with creating your kit. Dit is de manier. Dan kunnen we het zo meteen wel aanraaien. En... Zo. 
These little blue boxes where everything comes together will connect the pump, the dry run protector and the solar panels. You can also connect a float switch which we can put into the tanks so that the pump will turn off once those are full. In the app you can set up the pump in such a way that is best for your farm. I prefer to water in the early morning but the sun is obviously not out at that time so I let the pump fill up our tanks during the day so that I can set my irrigation timer to water in the morning. Okay, we have put down the solar panels. I downloaded the app in the App Store and now we're gonna test if it's gonna work. Okay, it's connected, it's pumping. Voel je water er doorheen komen? Okay, let's see if we can see some water in the tank. For reference, the well is over there with the pump in it and the tanks are over there. Let's go see. Really decent pressure. Okay, let's keep this back. Nice. We have these two IBC tanks. We've had them for a few years over here. They're connected, so I don't have to faff around with putting the hose into the other one. Um, it automatically just fills the both of them. Uh, you can see a video here on how we did that. So, really good. Okay, time to turn the water on. Yes, we need to stream here. hasn't been water in this line for a little while so it needs to fill up but we have water I see we also have a vole over there so these are the taps that I can open and close for this flood irrigation That's really exciting. And then I just have to kind of configure that with the timer that I will have on this flood irrigation, um, where I can just say, okay, let's leave it open for 15 minutes a day. And then the whole watering system is completely automated. And I don't have to come down every day to check on this. I can just do uh, the weeding when, I'm, when I have the time for that. And yeah, oh, that's really exciting. Okay, it has been a few days since we installed the pump. 
Now let's see how it's doing. Okay, so in the app, we can see how much water it has pumped over the last six days. So in the settings, I can do a couple things. I can put on a speed limit in case that's necessary for you in regards to flow rate. Uh, you can put on a timer. So now I could say it's 145. Turn it on right now and let it run for an hour. So now it should be pumping water. Cancel. Yes, so now it's gonna pump water for an hour and you can see the RPM, so rotations per minute, I guess. And uh, it's pulling 75 watts, that's enough. It's an overcast day today, so it only needs that much to to run so that's that's why you have 200 watts in the solar panel together um, so that it can at least generate that amount and of course if this if there's less sun it's going to push out less water per day but that doesn't really matter oh and the right here it also says that it's pumping one cubic meter per hour so that's one tank per hour, uh, which is really decent, especially for how little power it's using. So that was an install of our new solar water pump. I'm really excited. I think this will work really well so that I don't have to keep, a, keep an eye on is the tank full enough to water. I can just automate the whole watering situation over here and then spend my time doing other things. So I just want to say I am so impressed by the quality of this product. It all feels really sturdy and like it will work for a long time. It's, it's really well packaged and I'm just impressed by the attention to detail, like how they thought out every step, how they put every little thing that you need for the, for the install with, uh, with the kit. So the Jubilee clips, the screws, the washers, everything. So you don't need to go, like how, as you usually, if you install a watering system, you have to go up and down to the, to, to the city to get all the different parts and then you forget that one part and then <laughs> you know how that goes. <laughs> Anyone off grid knows how that goes. So it's really exciting to see a company really pay attention to this kind of detail and make it really easy to set up. I showed you the different steps. They even made little videos to show you how to do the things if you, if you can't figure it out. So I think that's really great I think it's really good value for money I'm just happy that this modern technology exists now and that it's available for normal consumers like you and I uh, where we can buy these small kits that are not not super extravagant they they won't power a 20 hectare farm but they will like for a small farm this is a really decent and it makes it so that even people like us don't have to rely on petrol um, petrol water pumps you can just automate the whole thing with solar and be in the 21st century i really love that working with companies that make products that i would actually buy myself is really important to me so to get this kind of opportunity with them it's just really great <laughs> so if you want to check out this new lorenz uh, s model that i showed in this video you can go to the link in my description box so be sure to check that out I highly recommend and now I can just go back to growing tomatoes like I like doing and I'll see you in the next one.